I'm Dr. Charles Dactus. I'm an interventional pain management physician here at Spine and Pain Centers of New Jersey and New York. I did my fellowship training in interventional pain management at Harvard University's Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. And prior to that, I was at Albany Medical Center for anesthesia and neurosurgery. Welcome to my video series on interventional pain management technique. I hope over the course of this series, we get to understand pain management techniques and how they can help to restore your function and restore your quality of life. I look forward to seeing you and working with you. Hello, I'm Dr. Charles Dacknes. Today I'm going to talk to you about radio frequency denervation or radio frequency rhizotomy. This technology is used to treat pain from irritated joints of the neck, mid-back, and low back. The technique is a very simple technique. It's done through the use of a needle, uh, which can be done under local anesthetic with or without sedation. The individual with problems in these areas is brought to a procedure suite, much like I'm sitting in now. They're placed prone on the table, and the skin is, an is cleaned and then anesthetized with a local anesthetic. The individual is monitored with our basic monitoring, blood pressure, heart rate, and oxygen level. I'll demonstrate on this model as to where the nerves may be. Pain from the joints of the low back is carried by a little sensory nerve from that particular joint. Radio frequency denervation is achieved by placing a needle under local anesthesia to the little sensory nerves that bring sensation to the various joints within the lumbar, thoracic, and cervical spine. Once I see that the needle is in place under x-ray, I check with a special machine connected to the needle to make sure that the needle is sitting just on the sensory nerves to the joint and not near any of the other larger nerves within the lumbar spine. The needle is then activated. A radio wave is sent down the needle to heat up the tissue around that sensory nerve, which deactivates the nerve. Once that's complete, the needle is removed and the individual is transferred to the recovery area. This technique can provide up to 18 months of relief for painful joints. How do the joints become painful? Well, this can be through a series of different activities, including work-related injuries, motor vehicle accidents, or plain old garden variety arthritis. Symptoms that people get from injured joints in these areas can include neck pain that radiates into the shoulders, low back pain that radiates into the backside or into the tops of the thighs. What are the risks of this technique? The technique is very safe, but it does involve the use of a needle through the skin, so a slight chance of bleeding or infection to the skin. There's also a slight chance of a hypersensitivity, a sunburn-like feeling after the denervation is complete. This is quite rare and generally goes away within one to two weeks. Full effect from the technique can take a month to manifest, and generally patients will get between 50 and 75 percent reduction in their symptoms symptom reduction may last up to 18 months. Thank you very much for your attention today. I look forward to seeing you in the office. I'll answer any further questions you may have on a one-on-one -on -one basis.